Hello friends, welcome to my studio. Today I want to talk to you about one of my very newest paintings which is just off this easel and I've called it Eastern Light. What intrigued me about this scene as I came upon it was its very interesting backlit lighting which with the sun coming down through the trees it left a almost a ethereal kind of uh, sense of the place. So I've used a pretty limited palette with this, but I want to show you a little bit about how I did it. I always enjoy seeing the artist process, so I hope you'll enjoy seeing this. Not too far away from where I live, there is an intersection. Now this doesn't really look like it would be a city intersection, but it actually is. I just happened to catch the light right at the right spot as it filtered through the trees. The first thing I wanted to do was create a sketch and by doing that I can isolate where the lights and the darks are really going to be and create sort of a structure for the painting. Getting those lights and darks in the right place and in sort of an interesting arrangement is actually more important than getting the color right for a painting. You can see here that this is a pretty rough sketch. It's a thumbnail but it allows me to organize things. My next step is to create an underpainting. I'm doing this right on the canvas and I'm doing it in a monochromatic tone. So I'm not creating color at all yet. I'm just again establishing where those lights and darks are going to be. Once that's done and I'm happy with the structure of things, then I can go in and start adding some color. You can see that I've done this mostly in the foliage at first and I started with the sky colors. Because the sunlight is filtering through these leaves, there's a lot of yellow. It's not really a blue sky. It's a little bluer over on the right side, but on the left side, it's mostly a yellow color for the sky. I've started adding in a lot of the foliage now. On the left side, it is very bright because of the sun. And over on the right side, it gets a little bit darker. And you can also see how important the shadows are. Those dark shadows create a very important diagonal for the eye to follow in this painting, which is part of the structure. The eye also has another little pathway to follow as it goes up diagonally toward the left side from the bottom to the left. That'll be filled in a little bit more, but right now it does give um, sort of a sense of a pathway. All in all, I really wanted to maintain that bright background as the sun is filtering through the leaves, that backlit area, and then to build the foreground into a little bit darker area. And you can see how that ended up. It's amazing, isn't it, that this would have been right in an intersection in town, but that's where I found it. I'm reminded that we can just find the beauty of creation, God's creation, all around us. Eastern Light is an oil painting. It measures uh, 14 inches tall by 11 inches wide, and it is uh, available now on my website, helencreed.com.